day for quarantine. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Chibi, my neighbor, in Toontown. Just stay six feet away from me, thank you. Hi, boys and girls. I'm Mr. Toon, the mayor of Toontown. A lot of you have been sending in letters asking me about your old pal, Mickey. And now I'm here to tell you, Mickey's... Actually, that brings us to our word of the day. Mickey's on... Furlough. Now, boys and girls, I know what you're thinking. Furlough isn't a new attraction in Toontown. Basically, Mickey's still a part of the Main Street Bakery. He's just not making any dough. Oh, okay, that sound means it's time for today's special guest. Joining us today is a princess who's self-isolating in the castle right down the road. It's Belle. Bonjour, bonjour. Belle, a pleasure. I think we can all now relate to being stuck in a dungeon indefinitely. Oh, I always love our conversations. You remind me of my papa. Ah, uh, yes. Crazy old Maurice. Is that Boomer saying inside? Oh, of course. He's busy inventing something extraordinary. Reusable toilet paper. All right, we have some questions sent in. My view is at home. Belle, what have you been doing to keep yourself busy during this quarantine? Oh, I've been reading. Just my favorite books about far off places, staring sword fights, magic spells, and a prince in disguise. Yes, yes, I, I love oh, a lot. I just hardly could put it down. How are things on the other side of the village? Well, the primeval Gaston has organized a mob again. This time they're demanding an end to the lockdown, but they're just gonna get each other ill, so. <laughs> hey, it's my turn. No, it's mine! Oh, goodness. Belle. Hey! Are you supporting local restaurants? Oh. Well, we have no choice. Uh, our refrigerator broke, so now everything's the gray stuff. Sounds delicious. So, where is your better half? Uh, Beast is playing hide and seek with Chip. Really? No, he's at Costco. In a castle like yours, you're running out of supplies? Well, I only use paper plates because the ceramic won't stop singing. I We're now joined by a friend of Beth's. Well, I don't know who this is. Belle, it's me. Oh. Dispensier. My soap dispenser. You're a human. I know, it's crazy, right? I, people just kept singing happy birthday to me and I just transformed. I feel like Frosty the Snowman. Oh, uh, Beast must have attempted an act of true love at Costco. The toilet paper. Does this mean we're out of soap? Belle Dispensier, thank you for joining me for this socially distant yet spiritually connected episode of Mr. Toon's Neighborhood. Parting words? Well, Mrs. Potts at once told me it'd all turn out all right in the end. But she didn't have to worry about toilet paper shortages. We'll see ya. We'll soon. Eventually.